What's going on everybody, Brett here. Jumping back into some more Legion Tower Defense 2. And let's play some more normal. Hopefully matching up against people of our similar skill level. Like the last episode, we... We lost. You know, happens. It was a fun game though. Uh, we were playing against some people that I think play the game quite often. Uh, they, know, they knew the builds. They knew the timings. And it was really up to us to try and put together something to defend against it. We were really on the back foot from the beginning. Mostly because I like to only play uh, the randomized version. Uh, I don't really pick a specific race. And sometimes that can be really, really strong. And sometimes I can feel a little weak. And I really didn't like my tower choices. Uh, my unit choices. So Mastermind is what I was thinking of. I had some really strong ones that I could probably abuse. Uh, but... It, Abusing stuff is not really my style of play. So, okay, let's see what units we want here. Trying to pick a nice diverse group. We can pick one more. We don't have a ton of synergy, honestly. Uh, I don't want to reroll because I don't want to get reduction in my income. Let's just take that guy. He's okay. And what do we build first? So, these dudes can hold when you upgrade them. Bone Warriors have three different upgrades that you can get. But if you get a Crusher, they have a regeneration that, that does pretty well at keeping them alive. And we can also get... If we're going to get the Anglers, then we need to start uh, leveling them. And you level them by getting them kills. And once they get 50 kills... You upgrade them, it carries on to their next upgrade, and then you do it again. You upgrade them to Bounty Hunter, and it's their third upgrade that does a ton of damage if you've taken the time and you've protected them long enough to give them that uh, that nice attack bonus. So let's see if we can, we can do that. The earlier you get them down, the better. And I like our force. We valued a bit higher than our ally. Uh, Grawl is a very good... Um, early unit to have. They can last several waves. They have two different upgrade trees. And they both do different things. They both cost very different amounts. They do different damage. It's a it's a really versatile unit that I like a lot. And the the Bone Crusher could have held by himself, like without a doubt. His region is enough to keep him alive in these early levels. But we are getting uh, you know, quote unquote experience, mana, whatever you want to call it, on our anglers. And if I wasn't talking so much, I would have looked at what our opponents are doing. But alas, I do often talk too much. So we got ourselves another worker. We're at four. Our allies at two. Okay, interesting. So they're transitioning their build into a Ooh, they might be very experienced or very bad. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not I'm not experienced enough to know. They're summoning a snail here. And we're holding off with our income so that we can send a turn 3 brute. But this egg sac hatches into a leviathan, I think is what it's called, or a hydra. Let's see what they're doing. Okay, so they've randomized as well. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and bring up the wave info here. I like to have that available to me. So he was teching really hard to get the very early Hydra. The Hydra sits in an egg. It has to survive for multiple turns. I uh, didn't quite make it on the income there. It feels kind of bad. But now we can send a Brute and hopefully mess him up. Oh, we didn't have enough. Oh man, I was thinking we would have enough for sure. Now let's just get a bunch of little weak bone warriors. We can upgrade them, make a decent little front line. Um, we don't have any auras. Auras are kind of what our build is really missing. They sent a snail. Our opponent got a dragon turtle, which may be enough to help take out the egg sac. But let's see how our send is doing, the brute. The APS here increases the attack speed on these guys. But I think the brute may be enough to take it. I don't know, the Rogue Wave does a lot, a lot of damage and has a lot of uh, 
of HP. We're all about just keeping our anglers alive. They're little babies right now, but we're trying to get them to grow. And they cost 125 to upgrade. Get ourselves another bone crusher. We have piercing damage and impact damage, so piercing damage is going to be good against these next enemies. And if we can get up to 40, I would love to send a lizard, but I don't think that's going to happen. Alright, let's see what's going on. And here's a full-fledged Hydra, and it looks like it was able to hatch without having its egg destroyed. It takes two turns. I don't know if I've ever finished my train of thought there. Should be my bad. It's under the effect of Mind Warp, it attacks faster. Interesting. I guess that's from the Dark Mage, maybe? But it's very powerful. So its stats aren't huge, right? But when it dies, it spawns a bunch of little hydras. And I think our ally must be pretty good at this game to really understand the timings that you need to know to make that happen. So we're going to upgrade this bounty hunter. Now he can increase his, uh, his experience up to 100. And then once that's the case, we upgrade him again to a kingpin. And look at his stats there. 4,000 HP. It says 171 DPS, but it's also going to have plus 100 on that, and it's going to do a lot. And it has a couple of cool abilities that you can look at. When it lands a killing blow, it heals itself. So, very nice. We do need to make sure that we're keeping up with our income as well. Let's get another worker. Let's look at our opponent, see if our little lizard maybe is messing him up yeah not quite <laughs> he's trying he's doing his best and our ally also clears so very good and man we're just a little bit shy of upgrading this guy that's what we were trying to do so I think we're gonna test out uh, this unit here we saw it in one of our last games called a Tempest. Let's send another lizard. The Tempest has a machine gunner, shoots nearby ground enemy for 12 pierce damage every 0.5 seconds. And it does decent damage. And when it upgrades to a Leviathan, it has an aura. Which I want to kind of look at whenever I get a chance. It may only apply to flying units. Something I don't quite remember. But we're also going to get another worker here as soon as we can. They sent a Brute against us, It's a nice send, but we killed it. Yeah, this one's a bit tougher. Our Bone Crusher is regening nicely, keeping him in the fight, letting our DPS towers do their thing. And our ally is going to be sending a Safety Mole, so that's a very nice send. I wish we had something that we could uh, send with his to, to complement him, but we just kind of don't. We really need to make sure that we're not missing experience on our bounty hunters. And I think a lizard is probably the best we can send here. Unfortunately. Piercing damage going to be very good against these guys and that's what they all all these units are. So let's check this out. Shoots a nearby non-flying enemy. That's Bombardier. Ah, uh, missed it again. Okay. And they got themselves an antler in the front lines, which upgrades to a very powerful tank called a white mane, which gives a damage reduction aura. They also have a hydra with a bunch of weak gargoyles. And our allies hydras doing just fine. Triple ranger. Very cool. And we may start saving now for a bigger send. I think we can afford to get one more worker. Because we're going to have enough to upgrade this angler here. And we also may need to just spend on getting our supply increased. So we're trying to keep up, keep up with the Joneses. 
and we're going to be able to do it. Okay. Our supply cap went from 20 to 40. Our ally is doing very well. This guy knows some builds. It's pretty obvious to me. Also, the way he's building is very smart. Uh, he's got a lot of kind of diversion going on. The wave comes to attack the Hydra, and he's got like two little forces. If they make it past this one, the enemy still has to spend uh, some time to get to the other force. We built the way we did so that our front line could tank well for our uh, bounty hunters, our anglers at the time, and that should have allowed them to, to level up. So we may leak here. Okay. I was a man of little faith. Gonna get one more worker. Yeah, and our, our ally got a safety mole send against him. It's very strong. But we should be able to cover him. We'll see. It's going to be very close. As long as my uh, Tempest doesn't run out in the front, it'll have some time to do a little extra damage. The Safety Mole takes reduced damage from piercing, so he just ate a ton of damage from our guy. Now, it's going to give our, our opponents actually a little bit of gold. Okay, not quite enough to also give ourselves a Bone Crusher. Um, hmm. Impact damage. I would love to start getting into these other different types of units. Maybe should have placed this unit back, because when, when it is upgraded, it will have an aura, and we're going to miss out on some of the space from that aura. We'll see how that goes. I'm just feeling a bit behind in the economy department. I want to try and keep up, if at all possible, while not leaking. allies holding nicely and the next wave is the boss wave so impact damage is good and swift armor is good I don't know if we have much swift armor well the bone boys do impact damage but man I would like to, to get some stronger towers So we could have got our first kingpin. It would have been a, a little bit weaker. Let's get two more bone crushers. And we're going to send... Man, we don't quite have enough. We'll send a hermit. Hopefully the healing can mess them up. And they sent a hermit and a lizard. So pretty similar. And the regen doesn't do great against the boss. I was just hoping that it's damage type would allow them to do some decent damage. Um, yeah, they just don't have a large enough HP pool. And the boss is getting healed pretty well. It's a percentage-based thing, so the fact that the boss has a lot of health, it's also getting a lot of heals, so we're going to leak. That feels pretty bad. Yes. Let's get another worker. Did our ally cover? Yes, he did quite well. And our opposite leaked as well. So our Hermit Sin did exactly to our opponent what it did to us. And we're both, we're both being covered by our respective teammates, which is nice. Okay, a bit of extra gold there for us. And we should be able to get our first... Well, actually, no. We didn't get the kills. So yeah, we didn't actually level on him. Uh, that feels so bad. Market is great. Allowance is great. So is Mithrim. Um, yeah, we're going to take Market. And we're going to get ourselves some magic damage. 
And I'm thinking about how I want to deploy. And I think I'm going to deploy back here with the Lord of Death. Send another healer. Seemed to work pretty well against our opponent. We really don't have a super tanky option uh, other than to spam out Lords of Death and to use their, their dragons to tank for us. The Bone Crushers aren't really a viable late game tanking unit. You see they just get nuked down so quickly by the amount of damage that the enemies can do. They're just there to make sure that our bounty hunters survive uh, to reach maturity, essentially. Okay, and they held. So now we start upgrading. Get ourselves our first kingpin and we can check out his stats. So 240 plus 100, so 340 damage, 4,000 HP. They have the ability to heal for 12% when they kill an enemy. Yeah, it's pretty huge, guys. And if you look at their, I mean, just look at their stats compared to the guys they're next to. More than double the HP. Like four times the attack with like a healing ability. So, I mean, it's they're super worth it. Let's get ourselves a worker. Oh, we missed it by a second. It's hoping to send another lizard there. Our ally sent big with a pack leader. Would have been nice to kind of help him a little bit. The kingpin's in the fight, trying to kill. He attacks kind of slow. Yeah. But when he gets that kill, you can see he gets a heal. 140 heal. Alright, that felt pretty good. Should be able to get another one. You know what? We're we're actually going to get ourselves our first Millennium. Millenniums do very well against the next two enemies, and then we'll prioritize. Let's get another worker. We're falling behind just a bit. Um, we'll prioritize heavily. getting our kingpins out because they're going to be our primary damage source for a while Ooh, that's a huge sin from our opponent I don't know if we can beat that kind of glad we built the millennium but that's two healers the healing does not stack uh, but the witch does a ton of damage she does 100 magic damage she attacks very quick uh, but if you'll see here that's the witch is right here it's a 200 send and that's gonna absolutely crush us and they sent a safety mole healer on the other side I think we could have dealt with a safety mole healer but the witch just does too much damage they were just able to nuke our little weak front line and uh, yeah beat us that way so our ally may be able to cover for us we certainly hope so Very difficult because you spend oh, your units spend all their time shooting these frogs and then she just summons more. So yeah, it doesn't look like they're gonna be able to cover. And they were able to beat their respective waves. So we're not, I don't think we're gonna lose here. But we're gonna give our opponents some unfortunate gold. I think if I wanted to just like cheesily spam Lords of Death. It's a, it's a build that I've seen pretty often. Um, that would be something that we could do. And we probably just like wouldn't lose. Uh, but I'm not about that, guys. I'm here. I'm playing because I'm trying to learn new stuff. Drop another one of these. I think we'll upgrade this one to a Leviathan. That way you guys can check it out. And let's see, we'll set a dino. Kind of a little bit of a tank. Uh, these slugs are pretty rough. 
get certain builds and we definitely want to get ourselves our upgraded bounty hunters because right now they're both our tanks and our DPS and we're gonna need them before level 15 I feel although you know level 15 we want to have magic damage Second dragon being summoned. And our opponents have leaked. And they leaked heavily. That feels pretty good. And we're going to summon a uh, hermit. Wow, we're going to get a lot of gold from this, guys. So I think we get one worker. Let's get two workers. We're gonna get a lot of gold. If we don't like outright win. Wow. This is gonna allow me to econ up all the way if we don't just win here. Wow, and our opponents hold with 5%. That felt great. That pretty much just got me back in the game. We can get ourselves. You know what? Let's get another. Another Lord of Death. They're how we're going to win the game, honestly. And I think we send a Dino this round as well, but now we need to save up and unblock our supply. It takes 75 uh, Mithrium to do that. This guy is not quite leveled yet, or else we would have uh, certainly got another Kingpin. see what they sent. So they sent another witch. That sucks. Let's see if our DPS can do its job. She kind of came out in the front. I hope someone targets her at some point and we can kill her. She doesn't have a lot of HP. Uh, we're going to leak. Will our ally hold? No, he filled an egg sack. That was a very bad idea. Um, yeah, that was a very bad idea. We're going to leak the entire boss, and so will our ally. Um, he may kill all of the wave. Man, that sucks. Yeah, the witch was a pretty decent sized send. Without the witch, we may have been able to beat that. But our ally built a really, picked a really bad time to build that egg sack. And I'm wondering if they can take this out. I mean, they don't have, that's all low tier stuff. Our king is under attack, but the king generally deals with, you know, bosses very well. We unblocked our supply. We're able to kind of keep up with our ally there. And yeah, that might just be game. Awesome. So we'll GG. GG our ally. So guys, thanks. I'm glad I got to upload a winning game. Um, yeah, they they econ super hard hoping to, uh, to crush us on that one wave. And we were able to hold, you know, just enough. That way our boss didn't die. But very good tactic from them. I could definitely see that winning the game for them. And then I guess their economy was so good that their bills actually suffered. And when we sent back the next wave, uh, we were able to crush them. So, whew. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, my name is Brett. My channel is Good Talk Gaming. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you check out Legion TD. And join the, the group of people that are currently playing it. Because it's been a blast. Most people who play this game are polite. And, uh, yeah. Come, come see what all the fun is about. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.